We're bringing Roger Stone on here in a minute, but here he is in May telling you from his sources what the next fake rollout will be. Then after that, he will tell you today what the next rollout will be after that. InfoWars, learn it years, months, or days before it's admitted officially. The opposite of fake news. The sterling, white-hot fount of dedicated truth. Let's go to the Roger Stone clip from May 16th. There's a disclaimer right up front. They're going to say that this is a conspiracy theory, but it's the stone of cold truth. They are going to claim that Donald Trump has Alzheimer's, uh, and that it is progressive, and that is progressing, and that is the source uh, of his insanity. I've talked to the president fairly recently. He is sharp as, as attack. There is no evidence of any deterioration in his thought process. This is completely bogus. But under the 25th Amendment, if a majority of the cabinet plus the vice president agree that the president is incapacitated, well, then he is removed. And if he seeks to fight the charges, it goes to the U.S. House of Representatives, where erosion among Republicans could destroy the Trump presidency. This is bogus. They could not beat him at the ballot box. So now they seek to remove him by claiming that he's insane. Look at his record on the economy. Look at his appointment to the Supreme Court. Look at the way he has the Chinese doing our dirty work in North Korea. And you will see he's not crazy. He's a genius. I was about to say, if that's insane, we need more of it. Uh, but this is the game plan. Watch carefully. You're going to see the word Alzheimer's more and more in the next several days. I've even been tipped off from leftists about this, that this is the game plan. You heard it first at Infowars.com. That's right. Now it's all admitted. Roger Stone joins us right now. He's out in Los Angeles where they're looking at an Oscar for the Get Me Roger Stone. A lot of uh, powerful stuff uh, going on, I guess, for Best Documentary of 2018 coming up. Uh, Roger, just hellstorm of stuff going on. We've got to go to break here in just a moment. But uh, up front here, you 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 didn't make the prediction because I, I kind of gave away some of the inside baseball. You, you told me, you talked to some people at some high-level editorial boards where they were admitting what the next rollout of fraud would be. You're absolutely right, Alex. Here we have it. I, I predicted it right here on InfoWars that they would... Uh, accused the president of having senile dementia, that he would say, they would say that he was mentally unbalanced. Uh, this is the direct manifestation of the fact that the whole Russian gambit has failed. So they shifted from Russia to race, uh, where they have been race baiting, where the president clearly denounces violence uh, on the left or the right over racial matters. They're not satisfied with that. So now they're trying to say that he's crazy. Um, CNN is particularly out of control here, Alex. And the extraordinary thing is, and I think I can break this right now, Jeff Zucker is not long for this world at CNN. I am told that the executives at the highest levels of AT&T, who are in the process of acquiring Time Warner, which owns CNN, are very dissatisfied with Zucker's performance at CNN uh, and that he will be shown the door fairly shortly. Well, if CNN wanted 10 million viewers a night again, they would bring back Larry King and they'd put you on, they'd put me on. But we don't need their platform. They're a joke. They can't, though. They can't give people what they want. Imagine a crossfire with Roger Stone, Alex Jones, uh, and then a couple of the idiot Democrats. No one could look away. It'd have 10 million viewers first week, but it's not going to happen. Well, and what happened last night was quite extraordinary. Ed Martin, uh, who has appeared here at InfoWars a number of times, an outstanding conservative activist uh, who really ran the Trump campaign in Missouri, was up against uh, five critics. Um, and when he had the audacity to come back at the brainless in at Navarro, why all heaven broke, broke loose. Anderson uh, Cooper is supposed to be a moderator, but it was five on one. Today, CNN flew Martin to New York, uh, put him up in a very pricey hotel, and then canceled him when Anna Navarro went uh, uh, crying to management 
that he had the audacity to actually call her out on the air. This woman is unhinged. Uh, she really is. And she's the same and person she's... putting out the talking point that they, they issue these talking points. And that, that, yeah. that, that the president has dementia. Does that have legs? And then what's the next, if you've talked to a lot of folks on the editorial boards of big papers, what's the next thing they're being told to get ready to make up? Well, the, the president is both mentally and physically sound. It's Anna Navarro who was fired by the Jebed Bush administration for lying about being an attorney and got caught. So who is she to talk about anybody? Uh, it's very clear that the predictions that you made, Alex, earlier about are heading towards absolute anarchy and an attempt to uh, take the president out on the streets. In other words, we're, we're going to have violent demonstrations uh, and violence, which we saw in Charlottesville, which we're seeing at the hands of Black Lives Matter and Antifa. And we're That's seeing CNN, MSNBC, The Washington Post say when violence is for peace, 1984, literally quoted on CNN, Washington Post, have had headlines the last few days, when, when violence uh, defends peace, and they're saying, we're going to attack you, and CNN is legitimizing it, and they're having uh, moderators on, and people saying, hashtag hunt Republicans, and then they've got the nerve to say that we're the ones calling for a violent revolution. No, we just kicked your butts intellectually with a political revolution, and we've turned the economy back on and righted the ship, and you crazy gremlins are crapping your little britches. No, that's exactly right. What this is really about, Alex, is the last election. They can't get over it. They will not accept the results of a fair democratic election. And therefore, they seek to remove Donald Trump by any means necessary. They tried the, the Electoral College. They tried the recount. They tried the Russia collusion delusion. These things have all failed. Now they're moving on to claiming that he's mentally unbalanced, that he has dementia, that won't work either. Uh, the last stop on this subway is violence. That's where they're headed. When I predicted violence, of course, those on the left say, oh, Stone is advocating violence. No, I don't advocate violence. But I do not think it's 1974. I do not think you're going to have a coup in this country and that patriotic Americans are going to sit there and stand for it. They're going to see it for what it is, an illegitimate, undemocratic, unconstitutional power grab. I love, I love how they lit me from below and everything with uh, NBC, Megyn Kelly. With you, the video still they used is like the most unflattering thing. I mean, it's so transparent. Yeah, that's a, quite a picture of me that they have there. I'm far more handsome than that. Uh, it's, uh, But it's this is typical of the left. Look at the photo that Politico used the other day in covering the fact that I have been speaking at this these uh, pro-marijuana states' rights conferences, which have been, my speeches have been very well received, but a small hand of agitators ginned up by David Brock and the people at Media Matters for America have staged a boycott of 75 speakers expected in LA. Three people dropped. Good riddance. That's right. They're pushing a no platforming for you, which means the end of free speech, which, again, I have a stack of news here and a stack of clips where CNN, MSNBC, they're all saying it's time to end free speech. They're saying free speech is white supremacist. They even had the ACLU apologize and remove an image of a white child because they said that that was white supremacist because the ACLU said, yes, the dumb, dumb white supremacists have a right to march. So now the left is openly saying the ACLU are Nazis and the ACLU has apologized for showing a white baby and amongst other photos of children. Yeah, it's Kafka-esque. I mean, it really is Alice in Wonderland time in America. The, the left has gone completely insane over the fact that we have a million new jobs, uh, that the stock market is reaching record levels. And in middle America, let me assure you, People are very pleased with the performance of Donald Trump. Now what the president must do is take the fight to the Congress, attack the Democrats and the Republicans. Yes, attack yes. The they're always trying to intimidate him, saying he won't be liked if he, if, if he doesn't roll over and he needs to stop tweeting and stop fighting. No, he needs to keep fighting. We're going to come back to 15 more minutes with Roger Stone. Roger Stone is our guest. I mean, look, we gave you the exclusive on the pardon. We gave you the exclusive on the Google 
droids watching and listening to you. We gave you the exclusive on their plan to overthrow Trump using COG. We gave you the exclusive on they're going to say he's mentally ill next because we're not just thinking this stuff up. We have the sources. And, 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 and Stone, this is a short segment, long segment coming up, and you'll be gone. I know to go to your important meetings. What else is front and center on the radar? What does Trump need to do? Because it's clear. And we'll get into this more in the next segment. They are initiating the attempt to overthrow him now. They said it a month ago. They said the next two months to have it telegraphed to their operatives that they have confidence that now launch the full assault. Everyone I know in corporate inboxes from, from Uber, you name it, is, you know, Trump's a white supremacist. We must overthrow him. Nazis are everywhere, uh, you know, uh, get in their face. Uh, they're telling businesses from Starbucks to flower shops, ask people if they're racist. Uh, you've seen hysteria on the street where they try to attack you everywhere. I mean, they have activated their people into a type of henpecking, weird uh, temper tantrum revolution, I don't think it's going to go well. I mean, Hitler dropped bombs on England. It turned the people for the war from being against it. And I think these globalists and their minions are such cowards, they don't understand. All this intimidation just gave me way more energy, made me commit to just absolute total resistance. Alex, I don't think the people of middle America who support this president are going to stand for some kind of coup. Um, and of course, the president has an obligation to restore order in the events that there is a mass insurrection against constitutional government. Um, the, uh, the left has whipped themselves into a frenzy because everything they have tried has failed. They were able to use Watergate to take Nixon out. They were able to murder John F. Kennedy. When I say they, you know, the, the, the establishment, the deep state. I think Eisenhower called it the military-industrial complex. None of their standard operating procedures are working with this president. And the reason for that is because we have a vibrant and robust alternative media. When people get sick of the lies on CNN, they can go to InfoWars to find out the truth. That's why the tech left is working overtime to try to censor us, to try to use the manipulation of our algorithms uh, and a dozen other computer tricks to try to end our reach so that we can... Uh, and, and let's be clear, let's be clear. They're launching everything now. The censorship's gone up 500-fold. The physical attacks, 500-fold. The bullying, the freaking out, the, the rhetoric with CIA high-level folks saying we're going to kill Trump on television. Uh, they're, they're canvassing Congress about who's going to go along with them, throwing them in a mental institution. I mean, this is happening. The single most important thing the president could do right now is to take the FISA court warrant that proves the mass-based, illegal, unconstitutional spying on at least 30,000 Americans and tell Jeff Sessions to bring an immediate criminal indictment against Brennan, uh, uh, Rogers, uh, uh, Jarrett, Rice, et al. That would cut right to the heart of the guts of the He's got to go on the offense. And we're seeing some signals with Sessions with the Awan brothers indicted for espionage against the Republic. The word is Schultz is the indictments are ready. Uh, we're seeing other criminal investigations. The Clintons go into high gear. I think the president must move now for the Republic. You know the most fundamental and important of Stone's rules. You never win on defense. The president must go on offense against both parties in Congress go on offense against the deep state and begin the prosecution of those who violated our civil liberties under Obama. While now, he still has the backing it. of the military, because they're openly in the news, shopping the military to go along with the coup. They're waiting to take his support away when they plunge the economy. He's got to move first so they can't blow the economy and complete the takeover of the country. The country has been invaded by globalist forces. These are alien outside forces. The president must move militarily. I believe outside of the courts. We cannot wait. Military action now. Coolest thing. The Alex Jones Show. To piss in the face of all that. The war on for your mind. But we'll see. You see, they, they're launching a new Comedy Central show five nights a week based on me where a guy plays me and then says horrible racist stuff so people want to kill me on the street. What scum? 
We're going to play a trailer for that coming up. No, but Roger's doing an amazing job. You were getting into the serious stuff. Great job on, on, on the film, uh, Get Me Roger Stone, and I, and I think it does deserve an Oscar. I, I can hardly watch documentaries these days, and, and it is riveting. So he's out there doing some important work, and he's going to be spending a week, a month with us here in the ATX. But finishing up, Roger... We have massive civil war they're launching, the admission that they're saying they think he's mentally ill, that they want to militarily overthrow him. You told TMZ when you got off the airplane yesterday in L.A., you said, look, we'll play the clip after you're gone. You said, look, I'm not for violence, but if they overthrow him, America's not putting up with it. It's not like where you punch us in the face like Antifa, and then somebody fights back, and you go, oh, my God, you fought back against Antifa. They're the white knights that no one's allowed to fight back against. I mean, this is crazy how entitled they are. You can see them with the censorship, everything mounting, their campaigns for rioting, that they're building towards a crescendo, and they admit they're building towards a crescendo to remove him. What's your intel on how that may look? What you think is going to happen if they try it? I believe it's going to blow up spectacularly and take the Democratic Party from a dying coastal party to basically an outlawed party. And when I say Trump should use the military against these people, they're on TV saying, kill Trump. They're on TV saying, we're the CIA. We're going to kill him soon. We're organizing a coup outside of law. They've got Brennan and Clapper all saying it. So that's outside of law preparing a coup in America. You strike back against that with the national security apparatus. I'm not calling uh, for the seven days in May. I'm calling to stop the seven days in May, literally. So what do you say in closing, Roger Stone? Yeah, I think you have to remember, Alex, that the president is the head of government. He is not a candidate. He's the president of the United States. A move against him is therefore an illegal and unconstitutional move. He would have the right to order the military uh, to put down mass insurrection in the country. He would, uh, I believe most police officers in this country would be, remain loyal to the president. Again, we are not the ones advocating violence. We are not the ones who are rationalizing violence. We are anti-violence. What I told TMZ was, however, that if there is an illegitimate, unconstitutional move to remove this president, it's going to be met with violence from those in middle America who no longer have to depend on CNN and CBS to find out what's going on, who can find out what's going on by coming right here to InfoWars or go to Breitbart or Daily Call or any number of other places that will tell you the truth. And those people will be mobilized. Of that, there is no doubt. Uh, in the next 24 hours, you're going to hear over and over again, Roger Stone advocated violence if Trump is impeached. Not what I said. Listen to the whole tape. Not what I said. What's the next attack on him after that? And again, just do, clearly, do you agree with me? They're building towards the big event. There's no question. My sources like yours tell me that violence is the, the next event. They predicted this before Charlottesville. We now know that Charlottesville was a fraud. The, the guy who ran the entire operation, the top white supremacist, well, it turns out that he was working for Hillary a year and a half ago, pardon me, for Obama a year and a half ago. So uh, I think the fraud of Charlottesville has now been exposed. I expect, Alex, to answer your question directly, there will be more false flags. There will be more agate prop set up to foment violence and then blame that violence on Donald Trump. Uh, that's exactly what happened in Charlottesville, and I expect there will be other Charlottesvilles shortly. I expect Oklahoma City's federal building with a nursery again, blow it up, claim a Trump supporter did it, try to pin it on the president. None of us are going to buy that, and, and, and we're ready for it, and we know it. We knew that Soros was funding the Summer of Rage. They finally got their event. They've been calling for all this violence. They finally get some violence to then brand us for the coming civil war, which they have lit the fuse on. But the truth is, we're here fighting it. Our listeners are fighting it, and we're going to win. And we have the beachhead of the president now. The big enemy, as you said, is the Republican establishment with uh, the Speaker of the House meeting with Democrats on TV, saying he wants to work with them basically against Trump. They're all preparing with Mitch McConnell saying Trump may be removed the New York Times this weekend. They are clearly preparing the attack in the next month. This is the time for maximum vigilance and never hedging our bets, but being fully committed to the Republic and fully committed to this champion, Donald John Trump. Thank you so much, Roger Stone. Alex, great to be with you. And again, the most important takeaway today 
and you're hearing it on InfoWars first. Jeff Zucker, the head of CNN, will be out of work shortly. The folks at the highest levels of AT&T who are on the verge of acquiring Time Warner and thus CNN are very unhappy with the way CNN has become uh, a front organization and no longer a news organization. Well said, my you friend. You heard it here first at InfoWars. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Roger. Great, Alex. Thank you.